Hello. In this video, we'll see how to set up a custom domain for our Blogger blog. Now, when we set up a blog on Blogger, then we have a URL that looks like this: your blog name dot com. Now, this is okay, but if you want to use uh, your blog site for something serious, like uh, serious blogging, or you want to use your Blogger blog to set up a um, a website for your uh, business uh, small business or maybe a community website or something like that then this URL doesn't look very serious or uh, doesn't look that professional so maybe you would like to set up a custom domain for your blogger site so we will go through the steps required to do that right now Right now this website is accessible using this URL because we have not set up a custom domain. When we click on view blog, the URL automatically goes to the default blogspot.com. I'm in India so that's why it's showing blogspot.in. So we will set up a custom domain so that our blog is accessible using our custom domain. So, uh, what is the first thing that will be required to set up a custom domain? Obviously, we need to buy a domain name. So, where do we buy? Uh, we need to buy from any domain registrant. Uh, an example would be GoDaddy. So, I have already bought one domain from GoDaddy. This is the domain name. So, we will set up this block accessible using this domain to set up a custom domain on blocker we need to go to settings of course you need to log into blocker uh, dashboard and then go to settings then under publishing you will see uh, blog address uh, section this is where we need to add the uh, custom domain as we can see there's a link provided here set up a third party URL for your blog point your own registered URL to your blog so click on this link now since I've done this before this field is already entered so uh, get the domain name from uh, whichever service you bought the domain from I have bought one from GoDaddy so this is the domain name so I need to enter the domain name here and the prefix www is also necessary because if we don't enter this Google will, blogger will throw an error it says blogs may not be hosted at naked domains example udomain.com please add a top level domain example www.domain.com or subdomain so it seems the prefix www is necessary to set up a custom domain here and this is also important you need to check this so that the site is accessible using uh, without www and with www so if if you don't check this your site will only be accessible with the prefix www if a user comes to your website by typing just the domain without the prefix www then they will get a 404 error page so you need to check this this is important and on the blocker side you just need to enter the domain with the prefix and save it this is all that is required from blocker side the rest of the configuration has to be done at the domain end so just save this Now it says settings were saved and our website should be redirected to this domain. So for instructions how to set up your domain just open this page I have this open here. So first the first thing is to purchase a custom domain which we have already done so we we'll skip that. 
and we go to step two which is set up your domain with your block so we have finished this part we have entered our domain uh, name the next step is to enter a few records in our DNS manager uh, we need to enter two C names one the first C name will be www and the second C name will be particular to your blog and Google account and therefore it is different for each person so let's go to our GoDaddy account now depending on which service you are using the navigation will differ but you need to find manage DNS now in this DNS management page uh, look for look for a menu from where you can enter records now there are different types of records that can be entered in a DNS uh, management tool one of the most basic type of records is A records the other is C name and mail related and namespace related uh, records can be entered now for custom domain for blocker as it is provided in the instructions we need to add firstly we need to add a C name for www so I will select the type of record as C name and for host I will provide www points to will be the address given here this is uh, common for all so we will enter ghs.google.com and TTL can remain the same and I will click save now since I've already done this, the record is already ended here. So type of record is the type of record is C name. Name is www. The value is ghs.google.com. TTL is default one hour. This is the first step. Now the second step is to add another C name. As it is mentioned here, this is specific for your blog in your Google account. So when you save this for the first time, it will be displayed here. So you need to copy that. Uh, since I've done this before, it's not displaying here. Otherwise, you will get a code like this. So just like you entered a C name for www, we do the same for this uh, unique uh, C name as well. So we will enter the name and the value and save it. Now we have finished adding the two C names. We need to add four separate A records, which points to four different Google IPs. So we need to create four different A records for this IPs. So you need to do the same here. Click add. Now this time you need to select A as the type of record and host we will provide at the rate host will be at the rate points to will be the IP address mentioned here so we'll just copy this and save it now since I've done this already it's uh, saved here so repeat the steps for each of these four IPs given in the documentation and add four A type of records. I've already done that, so it's displayed here. So that is all that is required in the DNS management tool on your domain. The first was to add a C name for www. The second was to add another C name for the unique um, name that is uh, particular to your blog in your Google account which is uh, displayed when we set up this page for the first time. So 
and then we need to add four A type of records in our DNS, which we have already done. Yeah. So this is the end of the configuration on your domain side. Sometimes it may take a while for the blocker side to open on the new domain, so just wait for it. Right now, uh, the domain is working for me. When I click view block from my blocker page, it directly goes to the domain. And the page is loading. So this is how to set up your uh, blocker site to use a custom domain. If you have any questions or queries regarding this particular video, then do drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this video and if it was helpful, then can you do share, like, and comment.